What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. So Akeem Williams wins the Tampa Pro against a popular opinion and qualifies for the Olympia as well. Was there a robbery? Well, I can say that the crowd and majority of the bodybuilding fans around the world would be more happy if Kamal would have won. What's really surprising is that this was one of those shows which was so close after prejudging. I clearly had Kamal winning after prejudging, but if we look at the scorecards, it wasn't close between Akeem and Kamal. At the finals, Kamal came out better than prejudging. He was the crowd favorite and everyone thought Kamal has it in the bag. Now, look at the scorecards for the finals. That makes no sense. That being said, Akeem overpowered Kamal and Evan Quinton with size and to be honest, that's where the bodybuilding is heading for the last few years. If conditioning was the priority, then Hadi Chopin should have been Mr. Olympia in 2019 and in 2021 as well. But they chose to give it to Big Rami, the bigger guy with decent conditioning. And Akeem was in decent condition. And you have to give credit to Akeem, winning a pro show with injuries. That takes some courage. He had an accident four weeks out of the show. He had lower back injury, he had a shoulder injury, and still he brought a good package. Hopefully in 18 more weeks, we can see a much better version of Hakeem at the Olympia. Now, let's talk about Kamal who is fired up after Tampa Pro and he will do Texas next week. This is what happened, it made me hungry with the crowd, so I'm gonna make sure, show them something better, hopefully next week. Texas Pro will have a great lineup, far better than Tampa and all eyes are on Steve Koklo and how he shows up. Quinton plays third here, which I totally agree with. There is no doubt that he is the future. Amazing extreme, great flow, but he needs more size and more density. Once he does that and once he puts it all together, man, the guy is gonna be dangerous as hell. Now, can he win Texas Pro? Highly unlikely, because it's not like Clinton was off. He was at his best here at Tampa. He is making improvements at a good pace. And keep in mind, he is just 26 years old. So, give him another year and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Joe Mackey and his coach Milos deserves full credit. Joe landed in fourth place here. His shape and structure is unique. Incredible round muscle bellies. I wish he was as good from the back as he was from the front here. He is doing Texas Pro next week, so looking forward to witness him battle again. Phil Klahar landed in fifth place. What this guy is doing at his age is totally commendable. I want to give shout out to Roman Fritz, the only guy in the lineup who could rival Kamal conditioning wise. Too bad he doesn't have the size or the crazy pop to get in those top call outs. What do you guys think about the results? Do you agree with the placings here? Do let me know in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.